The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. All right, I'm with Andy Hibbett. Six consecutive 100-yard game today. Uh, first and foremost, very frustrating game for the offense. You guys turned the ball over on several occasions mm-hmm. today. You, more so than any time this year, really showing some emotion today. Mm-hmm. What was your leadership role today, and what were you saying to the guys? Um, well, a couple times I did get frustrated, and then I had to think to myself, you know, that's only going to lead to more, you know, mess ups or me messing up something. Mm-hmm. So I had to, I had to really you know stop being selfish in a sense and I got had to think the team first and you know calm everyone down and it, we had a great job we had a bunch of leaders out there on the field today and that's the reason that we were able to pull out and um, so it was a credit to them Robbie Ignani um, had a great game Dre had a, another great game it was guys like that and kept a lot of us that kind of got frustrated into the game mentally 30 plus carries 188 yards two touchdowns a huge game for you offensively uh, how how great was it for you to continue to get those carries and to really grind out this win a one-point win in which you guys really had to battle back um, when you get that many carries you kind of get into a rhythm of things and I think that is what happened for me today and um, the offensive line blocked tremendously again like they always do like they have all year so it's definitely a credit to them DeAndre had another great game um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's kind of more like a, a rhythm type thing. I, I, I kind of, the more carries I get, the more I understand, you know, what the defensive end's doing and how we're blocking it. So it's almost like the more carries you get, the, the better off you are. When you think of Carson Newman football, you think running backs. Mm-hmm. You're the only running back ever to have six consecutive 100 yard rushing games. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you? Um, geez, I mean, when you think of running backs in this offense, especially the last 35 years, um, there have been some great ones. Uh, a ton of All-Americans. Um, Buck Wakefield, I think, is the one I, I passed maybe. And, you know, and when I got here, everyone talked about Buck Wakefield, you know, and then and how great he was. And we still watch highlights on him. Yeah. And he's still, you know, absolutely incredible. So it's, it's definitely humbling, you know, but – if it wasn't for the offensive line, if it wasn't for DeAndre and the coaches, then uh, you know I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have done this. So it's definitely not only mine, but it's also you know the offensive line and everybody else. What was it like to have homecoming and to be able to sing this little light of mine to head coach Sparks after the uh, after the contest today? Well. He was the one that wanted to sing it, so he came up with it. But it was great. We had a, a packed house. Um, a lot of alumni came down, and after after we won and we circled around, a lot of them stayed, and which is really cool. We got to mingle around and talk to a lot of people. And then um, Coach Sparks, you know, out, out of nowhere, is like, "Let's sing this song." Mm-hmm. And so that was it. Was really cool because everyone was able to sing it, and Coach Sparks is in the middle, mm-hmm. and. You know, just, you know, what a great man he is. And, you know, it's it's just a humbling experience to play for him. Now Lenore Ryan, next yeah. week, uh, two losses to them last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you guys need to do to get ready to uh, have the Bears come into town? Uh, first off, we've got to recover from this, and then we've got to come out, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and have great practices. We've got to fix the the mental mistakes and fix fix the fumbles, the turnovers that we did this week, and we can't shoot ourselves in the foot next week because they'll take advantage of it. They're a great team, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. It's going to be a dogfight, if anything. So, uh, but we're excited and we're up for it, so we're ready. <laughs>